It's time for Washington Fish Quest. This episode, 50-year-old lure. Will it catch fish? Hey, Washington Fish Questers, Blake here. You're about to witness Fish Quest history, as I'm going to do the probably the one and only channel unboxing, I believe they're called. I usually don't like unboxing videos because it's someone trying to push a product on you, you know. Uh, this is not the case, though. I ordered this off of a popular internet bidding site, and this is a spoon that I believe is from the 1950s, maybe the 60s. It's kind of hard to tell uh, based on the information I have, but let's get in there and see what we got. There we go. Hopefully this is what I think it is, and I didn't accidentally bring the wrong thing to the lake. <laughs> Feels quite light. It's all wrapped up here. Ah, oh, good. That's what I thought it was. All right, so we got an Otto's Ace Baits one half ounce spoon. It's not as big as I thought it would be at half an ounce, which is great. That means it's kind of a little bulkier, you know. Spoons used to not be as cheap, <laughs> so they'd be a little thicker. Let's see what else. Uh, we got uh, regular price thirty cents, and then there's a deal right now two for thirty when when this was for sale. So that makes it really hard for me to date. So I'm going to take it out of here and cast it, see if it can't catch some fish in the modern day. As I do that, I'll talk a little bit about what I might know about the spoon. There we go. Oh, there it goes. There we go. Let's see here. It says there, made in USA. Washington Spoon and Bait Co. Inc. Ooh, yeah, and at the back, it says Otto's Ace Baits 3. I really like the heft of this spoon. All right, got it on the swivel there. I only got four pound test on this pole, pretty micro rig. Hopefully I don't lose this on the first cast because this is probably the first action this spoon has seen in forever, maybe? Yeah, forever, I'd imagine. Here we go. Oh yeah, that cast like a bullet. Yeah, that was a smooth retrieve. It has the wobble like that, you know, it doesn't really flip around if that makes sense. I'm at Deep Lake today in historic Millsylvania State Park. I got the whole dock to myself. I couldn't believe it when I pulled up. I only got about 45 minutes to fish though because it is dusk. There's one boater out on the lake. Oh, it looks like it'd be a guy in a canoe, maybe. And uh, that's that's it. Just me and him. I got the, the whole dock, like I said. They had just dumped a bunch of stalkers into the lake, you know. So we're talking like the 8 to 10 inch fish. They're feeding on the surface. This would be a great place for me to practice my fly casting. Because they're just going bonkers on the surface. We'll see if they hit something as big as the spoon. Definitely not what they are feeding on right now. Alright, I said I'd tell you what I know about the spoon. I don't know much about Otto's Ace Spoons, unless they became like Ace Baits or something. But, so if anybody knows anything about Otto's, feel free to let me know. I thought I had a bite by this, think I might have hit a piece of milfoil. Yep, there's the snag. It's amazing, it's mid-April and uh, the lake's already pretty overgrown in the shallows. So I don't know anything about auto spoons, but I do know about Warshall's, the store it was sold at in Seattle. So Warshall's, if, you, if you're one of the 10 people who watched my fishing guides from 1951 and 1952 video, there was actually an ad for Warshall's in there. It looked just like this right here. Yeah, you can see, oh, I just got hit. Dang. Okay, well, that's good, though. Glad, glad that uh, something took a whack at it. Of course, I was talking about Warshall's there. At any rate, Warshall's... Uh, it was a staple like none other I've seen in the area. William Warshall, a Polish immigrant, opened Warshall's in 1921 as a pawn shop. And in 1936, he moved it to First and Madison. And it was in continuous operation, always turning a profit until the year 2000. It's too bad that it's lost to history now. Yeah, this is unrelated to the video at hand. I'm definitely coming back here and uh, this would be a great place to... Oh, oh, there we go. There's the fish. It's just a stalker, but... Oh, it's... it's oh, you know, this you never know with the stalkers. This guy's putting up a fight. 
Oh, I think the fight's out of him, but he's still on. Good. I got I got him good there, so All right, I had to wet my hand, I had to wet my hand there before I picked him up. There we go. Nice little stalker trout. Wham that spoon and uh, I didn't pinch the barbs. I probably should have. I shoot, I didn't bring pliers out with me. But I'm going to get him back in the water here, but luckily he just got him on the lip, so he's a okay. Don't let only catching one stalker trout on the spoon fool you. A, they're stalker trout. They're not used to chasing down other fish. And B, that's I just didn't match the hatch at all because it's uh, you know it's Bug City out here. Surface feed. The spoon I believe is going to do some great, great work out of my tackle box, but just not the right time for it here. So to finish the video, I have a little blue fox I'll put on, and that is the Otto's Ace Bait spoon. I'd say at least 50 years old. You gotta give me that. All right, here's that little blue fox I was mentioning. Purple. Size one. When I talk about matching the hatch with a lure, this should slay, I think, because it's gonna be right at the surface. It's small. There we go. Oh, a little one. Oh. Look at that funny way to end the video. It's a mini bass. That's awesome. All right, well, I'm going to go home and eat some Din Din. Got the one trout. You know, I would have liked to get another, but what you're going to do, it, like I said, I just wasn't using the right, uh, you know, gear and a technique you know there's gonna be a lot of videos i do like this because i'm posting weekly this year at least i'm gonna try yeah so there'll be a lot of kind of after work type challenges because that's just the amount of time i have to get out you know and then i have to go edit it so thank you so much and see you next time on washington fish quest